What's up, YouTube? It's ET the boss, and today, you know, just a simple double Moab on Bakara. Uh, I started each streak off when I get my specialist bonus. I think I'm gonna do that from now on with my doubles, unless it's like a really fast double. You know, if it's if it totals to like four minutes or something. I think that'll make the video a bit shorter. You know, you guys don't have to sit here and watch me struggle to get a couple kills and stuff. You know, it makes it a bit more fast paced as well. So let me know if you guys like this better, if you enjoy this more. But what I want to talk about is I, I feel like there's going to be an actual skill gap in Advanced Warfare because with all that jumping around and dashing and whatever the fuck, cloaking and all kinds of crap, like if you come in as a noob and you don't know what you're doing, you will get wrecked. You will get your shit pushed in, hands down, because with all that jumping, I'm telling you, bro, we, you're going to run into some lobbies. Where kids are literally just launching themselves into walls, like not even realizing what they're doing. <laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna be funny to see, actually. I can see a lot of videos where people are just like trolling with the jetpacks and stuff, trolling kids or catching kids doing stupid stuff, you know, in the match. Because I'm telling you, a lot of people who don't know what Advanced Warfare is and Advanced Warfare might wind up being the first COD, they're not gonna know what to do. Um, it's gonna, it's, they got a lot of new features, a lot of new innovations, where it's, it's gonna take, it's gonna take some time, and if, I'm pretty sure the pro players will get it down really fast, like, they're gonna have to get it down quick, so they're probably gonna be legends at the game in the first week, and if you're not good at it, if you don't have some kind of skill with the sticks, if you don't know what you're doing with the sticks, you will get fucked up, like, I'm telling you, I think Advanced Warfare is really going to separate the men from the boys in terms of skill-wise in the game, because you're going to have to know what you're doing, you're going to have to know when to dash jump, when to boost jump, I'm calling it double jump, because like in RPGs, you would double jump to get to certain levels, and that's what it looks like to me, it looks like you're just doing one big old high jump or one big old double jump or some shit like that, and... People are gonna be teleporting, pulling up Naruto teleports with the fucking dash to the sides and stuff. Like, you're gonna, people are gonna be dashing everywhere. You're gonna get hit with the Soryuken, man. I'm telling you, it's gonna be. You're gonna have to figure out what move to make. You know, when the boost slam if you're using that. When the dash, when the jump. You know, it's gonna be so many plays. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just nothing but plays is gonna have to be made in this game. And if you don't know what you're doing, I'm telling you, somebody who knows what they're doing is going to drop all kinds of nuclears on you. Like, it's going to get nasty. I'm, I, I, can, I, can, I can imagine seeing pretty high score lines if people get a noob enough lobby. I can imagine people getting 100 pluses easy with, against some noobs. Like, because they're not going to know. You, you're out there. You're dashing on them. You're double. You're, you, you're whipping out that cloak. At the right moments, you know, you're hitting them with that Evo shield. If they don't know how to maneuver around that, you know, you're doing all this stuff. You're whipping out the skills, and they're just like, "The hell is this man, Superman? <laughs> is this dude Iron Man or something?" And you're just going to town. Like I can see if you're a good player in AW, I think you're gonna be rewarded. I think I think this game is gonna reward good players, especially with all these new innovations, because these past few cards, like take MW3. MW3 is probably the least skill based COD I've ever played. Um, there is there's almost no skill gap in this game, especially with death streaks. Death streaks almost take away the, the skill gap. Unless you're playing competitive, then that's banned. But this game is probably probably the least skill based game of any Call of Duty out uh ever made, probably. I, I'm I'm gonna assume it is. Maybe MW2. Um not sure, but this is definitely at that at the top of that list so i think advanced warfare you're gonna need some skill to do well so look forward to that if you're a good player but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i meet you the boss stay bossing fam